Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode challenge. It's um, It's been tough going lately, again, uh, but we are chugging on and our job today is to go and recover more fuel once our mouse disappears. And it is full unfortunate events. We start tracking it, which, like last time out, has dropped some fuel trailers down on the map and we need to go and recover them. Now these two are pretty easy, not too challenging. This one here, somewhat tougher. This is all swamp, all swamp. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna head out, we're gonna try and do that. That is our thing, that's what we're doing. Our Kodiak is there with fuel if we need it. I believe we refueled, but we'll grab a little sip as we go past because we will burn fuel out in the mud. Just getting straight on with it today. This one should be a little bit smoother than last time out. I don't know why I keep going for low gear or even high gear. You know, there is there is every chance of getting stuck again. There's even every chance of rolling or tipping or something bad. But we'll stay cool, calm and relaxed and we'll deal with it as it comes. We are fleet star heavy. I love my fleet. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. It's a shame we have to wait for Alaska to get the best engine for it. Although it's the best engine for I think the White Western star as well. I don't think we'll be pulling the Fleet Star through to Alaska. So we want to quick. Quick grab a fuel, yeah. Just a little. And I can't believe that's empty. I've gone through so much fuel. So much. Yeah, we've got, like I said before, we've got two big trailers, I believe, or two, you know, two dolly trailers of fuel down there, the lake entrance, and we also have uh, a large fuel trailer in each of Drummond and Island Lakes. And also in Island Lakes we have other fuel trailers and scout trailers and all sorts. We've just not got any fuel where we're working. Because I've used it all. Now hopefully um, the controls are going to be fine today. Last time out they were interfering with each other. I think my wheel and my side panel were a bit jealous and they wanted to get in on the action. Probably could have come and got that one last, got the other first, but hey, it's not like me to uh, do anything in the easy way. But we are definitely going to save the hardest or the most challenging recovery of fuel for last. And this is the first time I think I've actually come at this task through the uh, the warehouse where that is over there. Normally I come up through there and I come, come flying through the trees all full of confidence and beans, but that's, that's not how we're rolling at the minute. We are gingerly approaching everything.
try and make sure we've got a tree in range as we sink. Now I'm sure a braver player, a braver runner, would go out, pick up the furthest one, come back, pick this one up, and then just lug the third one on the crane or stack it on the back. And I have done that too on a on a normal mode, but no, not today, thank you very much. And again, you could come down here with a semi-trailer and do it that way, but we've not got a semi-trailer here, all our semis are elsewhere. So is there any brighter but we can't we can't tell yet <laughs> try and keep ourselves pretty stable. First two in. We have a toolbox, don't we? We do. Let's see if we can fix our suspension. Right, let's go get the final one. So it's in a pretty mean spot. Although if you come out at the right way, it's a lot easier than it looks. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, demonstrate that. <laughs> oh dear. Although most of the series I think has been how not to approach. This is how not to approach hard mode. I'd probably give myself way too much of a hard time, but with a lot of the stuff that's happened, I know I can do better. Because it doesn't take long for me to get frustrated. It doesn't take much at all for me to get frustrated. And then once I get frustrated, all thought, all process goes out the window and anything can happen.
This is some good mud. Just gonna keep moving. A nice climb there if you want to fancy it out on the way out. I wouldn't recommend it. Not in the fleet style. Now the first way too many times of me uh, doing this job over the years I've always tried to force myself in through the swamp. Trying to winch on all the tiny little things but can, if you're careful enough, let's hope this works out for me since I've said it, hug these rocks, come on, she's going to, oh she's going to drown isn't she, why is she doing me dirty like that, why are you doing me dirty like that? You can go around here. I swear, more things change in hard mode than they tell you, than they let on, because... I did this, and I recovered this, this way, with the Fleet Star. Four days ago on my console. Why can I not get around there now? It's not going to let me, is it? That is crazy. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to try something else. Yeah, tells you it's going to be a how not to. Then the last three or four times that I've done this contract, or this task, I've rolled up alongside those rocks. Now, if I can't get through there, I am not going to get through here. I wonder if we can take the rocks somehow. No. How badly is that going to pop me up? Not at all. Right. This might flick me though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're coming with me. Got to do it the cheese way. swing it this way, shall we? Let's not uh, be that risky with it. Yeah, if we weren't going to get through that riverbank, we were never going to pull ourselves through this swamp. Oh, that's not gone in. register in it, we'll have it. Okay, now we've got to try and get down. Never, <laughs> never done it this way. <laughs> Perhaps that's the new way to do it.
Yeah, on my console side, I've been doing everything with the uh, the Fleet Star and an ANK civilian. And we can't do this with an ANK civilian because you can't put a crane on it. So why it wouldn't let me get round that rock this time, I don't know. The only difference is hard mode. All the every all the upgrades and all, everything else on the truck will be the same. Uh, tiles will be these ones, all the ones that we took off. So the difference there won't be massive. And if you're playing on normal mode or a new game plus or anything like that, I cannot recommend the ANK MK38 civilian enough as an early truck. It is so fun. It's a bit late now in the series, although we're <laughs> probably early in the series. A bit late now in uh, Michigan to even consider buying buying one for this for this playthrough. Not without maybe selling two trucks, and we need to save our trucks that we could possibly sell for when we're proper screwed. And I need about 60, 70 grand when I get to Alaska for the truck that I want there to start with. And it is a modified one. It is a mod truck. We're going to have a mod truck on the series. Not a, an overly OP mod truck. Just one with a few extra options. When we, when we get there, in about, you know, 40 more episodes. That's wishful thinking. There we are. Jobby in the bag. Oil barrels delivered. Uh, excellent hedge of pay. This never happened. Understand? Indeed. So that's 310 XP and we are at 3,100. Which puts us at 62 grand. We're at level 13 still. Lots of work to be done. So let's just have a look. We've got the Michigan Trail to do. Which is a, a scout jobby. And I did say I'd like to get my scout down to do some things anyway, so hmm, it's a possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I want actually, yeah, because I think it'd be quicker to actually take my scout down and do stuff down there, and then in and through Island Lake than it will be to take it and drive all the way up there with it. So there's that possibility. Um, Job-wise, in the area. None of that. Uh, thus logs and no, that's logs. Lumber mill revival. Uh, that's going through, and we need to take uh, concrete blocks and metal beams. And there's metal beams here, so we need to remember to grab them before we go through. Uh, I think there's curtain side trailer as well here, isn't there? Both both are here. Yeah. So we need both of them. When we go through, we've got stuff to do elsewhere. So, sorry, um, White Western Star, your job isn't going to be to do that. Let's go to that. It's just to come down. We'll, we'll grab one of these trailers. We'll pull it down. I want to bring one of these fuel trailers back up and across put over here somewhere 
I might. Hmm. Do I think now? I might bring it up here and park it up there. I think that was what I wanted to do anyway. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start heading down south. That could be crazy. But I am going to risk going along the, uh, the riverbank. We should be fine. The diff don't like it, but we'll need the diff in a minute. Oh, it's gonna be a, It's gonna be nope, nope, nope. Pretend like you don't need it, but then as soon as you switch it off you need it. Again, we're gonna get stuck in places I've not got stuck before, aren't we? It's kind of becoming a guarantee for the series. And weave our way through. Probably again, probably should have just got up there. Never mind. We'll go around and just go grab it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Poor planning as ever. Got to stay off the track. Ooh, don't pop another tyre. Slightest little rock. Yeah, trying to stay off the uh, the mud track. The traction, lower tyre. Out for the stumps because I know they are here.
I will happily drain this one. And there we go. Out of the way, mate. Ourselves a little repair. I will quickly shoot up here and we will grab the. We might try and grab both of them. Not sure how risky that'll be. I think there's some narrow rocks, if I remember, yeah, so. This should be alright. Shouldn't we? Now these metal beams aren't necessarily for this contract in um, Island Lake. I think they they were in, intended to be used for one of the quarry contracts, but we got ours elsewhere. Oh no, we did. We took them. There we go. So we did get them from there. So we're not going to get that. We're going to leave that trailer. See, I forget, don't I? Already took it. Because there's a semi trailer that's parked in the wrong direction in Island Lake uh, that has metal beams on, I believe. If that's not the case, then we'll have to trundle through somewhere and grab some. But I'm sure there's metal beams in there if not. I think you can get them from somewhere else. Not that we're heading in there to do that just yet. So this fuel, this um, trailer, that'll be going in when we next venture in. And we might as well grab this trailer, and that could be the one that we move out. I think we're going to drag the scout trailer with me as well. Oh. 
hunters want to give me a quick a quick hitch there we go that'll do as we're going along it might cause to be problematic because we might want our winch but we should be all right what I wanted. I may even just drop the scout trailer at the top of the hill and then take this large fuel trailer to the Kodiak. will be the approach. This is not feeling progressive. that scout trailer have its little wheel down causing us a little bit of drag but it should be all right As we're going forwards, come on. And my friend Rusty keeps, keeps checking whether I've added the uh, realistic mud, rain, and all that mod. We don't have that active, but it certainly feels like we do sometimes. that I want that trailer. It knows I do.
Go on, wait, you get going. Let's do this. Let's do this. is that junction we will stick with it <laughs> so we do go a little bit off track probably unwise <laughs> cut the corner. Should we cut the corner? Let's cut the corner. I think we can. Oh no, that's not nice up here. <laughs> that is not as firm as it looked. Let's cut the corner. There's not even that much fuel in there, wait there. Oh no, because I would like to have fuel waiting at the top. I was going to put that all, all in one. But I would like to have a scout fuel trailer up there if I can. Because all of this is going to go in that coat, the back of the Kodiak. We're not going to have any extra left over like I was hoping either. Good job I won't try to pull a full one then, isn't it? It would just wouldn't have come.
Oh, I'll find some traction. Get up a hill. We can do this. So let's just have a little look. What have we got in each tank? So is that just too far out of reach? that as a source. Come on. There we go. So that's got 800 in it. So if I refuel me... I don't want to put it all in. I only want to put... Hmm. We'll leave it. So I've got to, I'm going to come through a few times. I'll leave it. All right. So that one done. Empty. You can go in here. Can't sell it, unfortunately. I really wish we could. I I take a quarter, sell it for a quarter, and charge double for autos. That's what I say. Yeah, we could have deleted it, but you never know. <laughs> I might want to move some more fuel somewhere. 
Oh dear. Right. What is the time? Three o'clock. So, Land Rover. You are up. You're wise. What have you got? Not a lot, so that needs filler as well. So, swine. Just let me think for a second. Yeah, we'll just grab something down there. Let's just mark this because it is dark and I will miss things. To be fair, we'll probably hoss through there. Down. Leave it at that. Right. This is the sort of light we're after when we get in our trucks. And these are the sort of tires we want on our trucks as well. Big old floaters like this. easy on the gears as you go through the rocky part. It's just so easy to either lump into it and obviously do a lot of damage or even just sort of flip yourself. Trust me, I know. Go on, Landy, get moving. Again, I feel like we're moving a lot slower than we were last time out. I don't know. We can't be, but it just feels that way. It's not like on any of the other series that I'm doing, like I'm lying around everywhere and going crazy. I just feel that here suddenly we're all travelling a lot slower and a lot more difficult. Oh, 
was hoping to get the Michigan Trail done, but we just don't have enough time. It took way too long to get through that swamp, unfortunately. I was hoping to uh, go out finishing on a, a, a flyer, but let's, I guess we'll be starting with one instead next time out. The amount of times I miss that turn and just keep going straight is uh, embarrassing. Just caught myself that time. stump there and right up me bum Getting all wrong again. Nearly drank that as well. But the landy is ready to go out. It's got, like I say, it's got this job to do. We've got probably two jobs I want to do with it in Highland Lakes, and then there are two, and possibly three in Drummond. So. See how things go. Right, what is the time? It is six. So let's jump to the Fleet Star. I'll get this on the road on its way where it needs to be. Because this will next be required in Drummond Island. Sorry. Be next required for recovery. Yep, that's the one we want. Let's see what we got. Right, we'll have it. Honestly, your career, career around in confidence that you just go across a bridge, and next thing you know, you're on your head. <laughs> oh dear. Sums up this series, that does. See if we can make it to the scout trailer before time is up on us. Fortunately, there's a shortcut that would have been nice to have took before we get to the scout trailer, but we can double back and try and take the shortcut up. It's
durability's gone out the window. What are we breaking? Everything. It's the engine. It's only a little bit of damage though. I'm not sure if you'd say that if that was your own engine though, would you? If you could, if you could look at your car or your truck then you could see, ah, oh, it's alright, it's only got like 15% damage, it's certainly fine. Not wear, damage. seconds. Roughly all we got. See the tracks are way back there. Wasting time, wasting time, right. Let's just get as far around as we can. job there's a uh, service trailer or spare parts trailer whatever they're called uh, in Drummond we'll be uh, hooking on like that as soon as we get to it our new tyres to try and help deal with the mud that are clearly a lot worse at dealing with the tarmac there are we we are two minutes out and that is us done again for another day I was going to say not too bad. Yeah, that weren't too bad. That went all right. Uh, so I feel like it was just a little bit of, a little bit of time wasted there, but it weren't. It was I need to get the fuel where I need it. Unfortunately, it's just I'm just not very well planned out because I change my plans as we go on through the episodes. I change my plans as I load in and have a quick think about what I'm going to do before we get started. Uh, so things aren't always where I want them that time from when I left them. But that's, that's again, a little bit chaotic. That's my way of doing things. But hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Turn on your bell notifications. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Massive thank you for the support on the series. For those of you that are watching it, following along. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.